hello everyone i hope you all are doing good and uh, a lot of uh, positive things are going around you and uh, you all are having a great time with your family and uh, friends in this uh, lockdown okay so before starting the video let me introduce myself i am satish and uh, i am a consultant in an mnc and uh, um, i like to share my knowledge with the power enthusiasts like you my work basically includes automation by powershell and what kind of automation i do automation related to process means i make people's life easier that's why i like uh, doing things um, with powershell or automating things with powershell and i enjoy that so uh, this was all about me so uh, let's uh, discuss uh, today's uh, topic the uh, today's topic for discussion will be functions in powershell so basically why what is a function and why do we need it okay so functions are basically what anything in a powershell is uh, just a code okay so functions are basically a code okay a group of code you can say a group of code written to perform some some basic task or some specified task okay so why why we need uh, functions means we can use uh, we can use those uh, group of codes in um, in different locations so why we are doing that so uh, why we do that this is because to save space okay because uh, a function or a group of code can be used many times uh, or the same group of uh, some same group of code can be used many times in many of uh, um, uh in many uh, you can say many places in an application when you will uh, make any application then you will know uh, what i am talking about okay so what happens you create a function and then you call that function wherever it is required so in this way you write a function at a particular place and you reference that function or call that function at different places so this is why we need a function just to save time and save space okay and uh, how we do that how we make a function so let's discuss uh, that thing this was what is a function and why we need a function okay so in order to create a function in powershell what we have to do is we have to just type function and give it a name so let's let's uh, um let me um Okay, mathematical operation. Okay, I'm going. I'm giving um, this function, and you know the name of the functions are. Uh, you can keep it in verb noun pair. Nearly, uh, this is the uh, you can say um, method of the uh, uh, functions in PowerShell. Basically, you can um, see that in the CMD lets. Uh, the name of the CMD, the CMD lets are in uh, verb noun pair. So you can follow this convention. Okay, so math. operations i am giving this name okay now i will be taking a very simple example so that you will be able to understand i am not going to take any complex example which will help you or which will make your understanding even um, difficult so let's take begin with a, a simple example so this is function and then this is curly braces okay uh let 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 me write this first okay so i am just writing a simple thing here right host and this is um i am inside a powershell function okay so how how you will uh, means how you can use this thing okay how it will run suppose right now means uh, let me uh, show what happens if i run this uh, group of code you can see that it is not giving any output okay so how i can get output i can get output like this also means i have to call that function okay if you will not call that function you will not get anything okay so let's call this function so you can call this function here also and here also so right now let me make it clear math operation and now you can see that i have called this function that i am inside a powershell function okay but 
uh, here you will realize that uh, it is uh, it is not of much use i have created a function and it is um, it, it is writing uh, i am inside a powershell function means it is writing whatever there is in the um, right host whatever i have uh, written in the right host so it is displaying that thing also only but what about if you want to um, give any um, value from outside okay a function is not very useful until and unless you give output from the outside so how we we can do this okay so for example uh, the function which right now i'm going to create will be uh, you know needing output from the outside okay then only you will be able to perform mathematical operations like addition subtraction uh, mathmat uh, sorry multiplication division okay so how uh, uh, what we can do here is how we can do it. so so for that and what we we say uh, means what we call that thing if we are getting uh, or uh, if we are giving some inputs to a function then how we can do that for that we have a term called parameters okay so parameters are basically the uh, variables or the value of the variables which you will be giving from outside okay so how you will uh, call pa uh, parameters by uh, writing param and then this oh, sorry now <clears throat> what what you have, you have to do is uh, sorry it's not like this it will be like this is it it will not be curly braces then uh, since i am performing a mathematical operation so uh, so i what i will be doing is i will be uh, you know needing two variables okay two mathematical variables so let us uh, sorry um and uh, let those numbers be float okay so so how to define a variable this is dollar uh, this is number 1 okay and uh, second uh, um second number will be n2 okay let's say uh, follow the same convention here okay now what i will be doing here is this is how uh, you you uh, make the function understand that there will be parameters or there will be two input uh, you can say um, uh, input units from where you will be getting values okay and these values will be mathematical okay so how you can do this uh, now uh, um, uh, for example i am going to create another variable add and i will be adding those values okay those input values so these are basically input to the function the parameters are basically input to the function similarly uh, subtraction for subtraction let us write this dollar and then n2 for multiplication let us write dollar 1 into uh, dollar n2 for division let us write uh, uh, another variable let us create an another variable and then uh, we'll be doing the same thing the uh, division sign and now uh, let us uh, display all these values so right now i am going to display these values so how to display the values by using right host so what i'll be doing here i'll be doing this now i have created a fully operational function a function which will be doing mathematical operation of two values and these two values are the inputs to the function and what we call these inputs are is uh, parameters okay so these are the parameters which we will be entering from the outside and these parameters will get processed inside the function and will display the values of these uh, two um, variables or with these two parameters okay so this is what is a function so 
parameters are nothing but input input to the functions so you can have multiple parameters here multiple param, uh, parameters here i have i am discussing only two parameters but you can have a number of or multiple parameters uh, okay so so uh, we have done these things means we have completed our uh, we have made a very uh, simple function okay it's a simple function okay then um, this is just only tip of the iceberg so uh, these functions are very means they they are they are vast okay so let, let's first uh, uh, run this function and then we can um, discuss more of the uh, uh, on the functions in powershell so so right now i have created this function but since i haven't run this function so it's not inside the memory okay so let's so it is on the isc only so it's not in the memory so now let us run this function again you can see that there is nothing here yes, you can you can't see anything here this is because we have not called this function okay so for uh, in order to run it we have to call this function sorry math operation okay let's call the first variable n1 and um, let us give it a value of n okay then n2 let us give it a value of 50 and now let's see what happens so you can see that it has um, added these two values that is addition is 25 subtraction okay 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 sorry subtraction is different here. okay like this okay so let us run it once again okay and so you can see that it is subtracting so addition is 25 subtraction is 10 minus 15 it will be minus 5 multiplication will be 10 into um 15 that is 150 and division is yes is, is 10 by 15 and you can calculate the division and it is displaying right host uh, that it is displaying the last line also that i am inside a powershell function okay so this is just a simple function okay which i have discussed with you you can create many you can you can um, um, try for yourself yes you can do many different um, operations in a function so first thing about this function is that you have to first define uh, this function if you want to create any function then you have to define or create like this that you have to write function and then need to you have to give a name to the function then param parameters to the function and do the uh, and basic operations which you want to perform here okay and then uh, call that function okay so we can call that function here also okay so this is 9 1 and again you can uh, let me take any um, float value here okay and uh, 23.5 okay. so let's again uh, once again uh, uh, run this function so you can see that it is doing the right thing okay so right, right calculation so this is just a basic function okay there uh, there is advanced function also okay so this is uh, just a beginning my first video on the functions and i'll be discussing advanced function advanced uh, functions uh, in powershell these advanced functions have the capability to uh, for the pipeline means it has similar capabilities which you see in the cmd lets cmd lets are basically advanced functions only so it has many properties like it can ins uh, accept values from the pipeline uh, you can also get the um, um, values um uh, there are some inbuilt uh, inbuilt capabilities or inbuilt power uh, to the advanced functions for example let me uh, give you a brief so that you will uh, be able to understand what are advanced functions sorry let me uh, let me use this cmd let and now you can see here as i type this dash and you can see that these there are a number of uh, uh, parameters here okay a number of things which we can do with the advanced function this is just advanced function and you can see that it has um, input verbose debug error function so once you uh, use advanced functions you will get all these um, additional capabilities uh, in your function okay but for now let us uh, stick to this only yes, uh, I'll, I'll suggest you to first uh, uh, get yourself um, comfortable with the, the functions basic functions and then we can move on to the advanced functions so there is a method to create 
advanced functions means to make a, a simple function adva advanced function there is a simple method okay you can even made the make this function also an advanced function with these capabilities but we will discuss it on a different video okay so for now uh, enjoy and uh, please uh, share and subscribe to my channel if you really like my video and if you want me to make uh, continue making videos like this then please share and subscribe to my channel thank you thank you so much